According to many commentators, Marine Le Pen didn't really clarify her position on the euro. She talked about two referendums, uh, one after the election, one after the negotiations with the EU partners. Uh, she said that a common currency could coexist with the franc. Can you explain to us what the plan really is? The plan is a global renegotiation of the European project, uh, of which the euro is one aspect, but not the only one. So uh, we have experienced a very good system uh, from 1993 uh, to uh, 2002, which was the EQ, the European Currency Unit, which was a, a unity account who existed uh, uh, along with the other uh, national currencies. And in this system, we have the cooperation uh, of the European nation and also the national currencies that allow us to stabilize our uh, uh, disequilibrium between the nations. So very good cooperation with the EQ and also national currencies with the advantage that go with it. But th that means that uh, while French people would get a salary in francs, the companies uh, would continue exchanging in euros, the debt would be in euro. That seems very complicated, doesn't it? No, no, because you know, if France decide uh, to uh, withdraw from the euro because the, the French people would decide this, I think the euro will no longer exist. France is not Greece. France is a second economy in the eurozone. And if we decide to uh, uh, make uh, our analysis global within the eurozone, which is the eurozone, is not viable. It's not because we remain in the eurozone that the eurozone is viable. The eurozone actually is going uh, through the wall. So uh, we say that governing is to plan what is going ahead. And what is going ahead is the explosion of the euro. So we, we say, let's sit around the table, look at the risks, and let's withdraw calmly uh, in a coordinated way with our partners in order to stop this adventure uh, instead of waiting till the Titanic uh, goes through the iceberg. What's very striking in this election is that Marine Le Pen made her strongest performance ever in a presidential election, yet the odds are showing that she will probably not make it to the Elysee Palace. Uh, do you agree with that? And do you think you can appeal to Fillon and Mélenchon voters until Sunday? You know, what, what happened yesterday is really two views of France. Uh, Emmanuel Macron stayed in a, more techni in a very technical aspect. He is imprisoned with the communitarism, multiculturalism, uh, with the financial uh, lobbies, uh, with the European lobbies. So he didn't really make uh, uh, his view, a national view, and a national ambition of what is his regard and his ambition to France in the next five years. Instead of that, Marine Le Pen, I, get, I think, uh, make a wider uh, view. Uh, he, she expressed a real political vision uh, of France, uh, and this is really too Two different regards. I think I don't know what will go is going to happen uh, on Sunday, but in any case, it will be a victory because wh whether we will be uh, in uh, in power uh, on Monday or we will be the second largest force opposition force in France, and in the two scenarios, we are a winner. You intend to be the largest opposition force uh, with the parliamentary election. Uh, how many seats do you uh, intend to win? What is your projection? Really, I don't know at this stage. Uh, it really depends on, the, on our score on, uh, on Sunday. But I think we have two uh, MPs today in the National Assembly. I think we will multiply this by, uh, by 10 at least, or m maybe much more. Uh, it's not uh, uh, unreasonable to think we can make it to 100, 120 MPs. This is not a, an impossible scenario.